Troy, a city steeped in myth and mystery, has fascinated the world for millennia. Captured in the poet Homer's Iliad, the love affair between Helen and Paris sparked a saga filled with heroes and gods, triumph and tragedy. In some ways, the story starts here. Paris, a prince of Troy, had been exiled to Mount Ida to look after goats. And Zeus, the king of the gods, asked him to judge a really vital beauty contest between three goddesses. Each goddess offered the young boy a bribe. Athena said she would give him prowess in war. Hera gave him dominion over the known world and Aphrodite, the goddess of love, loosening her girdle and fluttering her eyelashes, offered him simply the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen, a Greek queen. Paris, being a teenage boy, picked Helen and Aphrodite, but there was a problem. Helen was already married to a Greek king, Menelaus, and so Paris's judgment sparked the Trojan War. The following 10-year siege of Troy by the Greeks, the myth of the Trojan horse and the fiery destruction of the city are legends that never fail to captivate. The question I'm always asked is, is any of this true? Well, some of it is, and the proof's in here. In the 19th century, archaeologists identified a site in Western Turkey as the ancient city of Troy, opening a window onto a Bronze Age world. Golden treasures from excavations in 1873 made headlines across the globe. Since then, nine archaeological layers filled with artefacts reveal how the city grew and was rebuilt over 4,000 years. One layer even shows evidence of a widespread fire, a possible connection to Homer's epic poem. As recently as 2019, researchers discovered a new 10th layer, making the settlement 600 years older than previously thought. Troy really is the most extraordinary site. I mean, not only because it tells one of the greatest stories on Earth, the legend of the Trojan War, but every time there's an excavation, new details of the lives of ordinary women and men are revealed. Rusta Maslan, director of excavations, explains why Troy matters. It's important because of the last, let's say, the 2,000 years, the story retold again and again in different kind, in poetry, in literature. And I think it's also power of the poetry and power of the history and character of the story is made the, the Troy uh, one of the most important city in world heritage. The excavation since 100 years. Kalga, Chiman, Dörfer, Legan, Korfman, and I'm the last excavator in Troy. Uh, is if you look the, from outside, is a study of nearly. 100% is already excavated, but there is still some question. For example, we doesn't know where the necropolis is, where the, all the people is buried. There is a big question. If you calculate it, it must be nearly some hundred thousand people buried. We found the necropolis. There is a metal finds the weapons and humans and and, and so on. And we will go more, uh, uh, more near to uh, mythological events with archaeological facts. It's very difficult to say which part of the Iliad or Homeric epic is real and which part is artificial. But if you just only uh, read Iliad, it's impossible to get answer. There is a several finds we can talk about. But, uh, for example, the Lurian seal, this was the first and oldest written document, is showed to us uh, the reality of the Homeric epic. But I think in Troy Museum, there is a one very important object, the so-called the Polyxena sarcophagus. This Polyxena sarcophagus tells the stories uh, what's happened after the Persian War. And as you can see, the, uh, the son of the Achilles uh, killed the uh, uh, Polyxena and the Trojan woman cry is as you read in Euripides or in other ancient stories. 
is a very tragic, most tragic story of the uh, Homeric epic. The historical significance of the site, both a legendary city and an archaeological marvel, make Troy's story one of the most powerful and pertinent in human history.